Last month, I made just over $4,000 in YouTube revenue, which was my best performance so far. Today, I'm going to tell you what it really takes to start making money on YouTube based on my own experience. So before launching your channel and splashing out on video equipment, hoping to become the next YouTube millionaire so you can retire on a Caribbean beach, you might want to watch this. Ready? Hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. YouTube is hot. According to the press office, YouTube currently has 2 billion monthly active users and 1 billion hours of YouTube videos are watched every single day. It's also one of the most sought after platform to make money online. So much so that the number of channels earning six figures per year on YouTube has grown by more than 40% year on year. Everybody is jumping on the bandwagon, hoping to become the next big YouTube sensation and make tons of money, or at the very least to make a few bucks to help with their monthly bills. Three of my friends who have no experience in the digital world and work regular jobs recently launched a YouTube channel hoping to generate what is commonly known as passive income. And so far, they've all managed to make a whopping zero dollars. This is the very first mistake most wannabe YouTubers make. They create a YouTube channel with the sole intention of making money because they've seen some YouTubers showing off a house or a fancy car they just bought with their YouTube earnings and they think they can do the same. There is nothing wrong with wanting some serious cash so you can buy a house outright but if this is your only motivation I thoroughly encourage you to rethink. It takes time to be successful on YouTube and if you really look closely most overnight successes took a long time. This is also true for YouTubers. The big channels out there have been doing this for many years and more often than not, their efforts were not rewarded immediately. Try this. Pull up one of your favorite channels, in my case, Think Media, which has a massive 1.2 million subscribers. Go to their video library and sort them by the oldest. This channel started nine years ago and if you look at the number of views they got when they first started, it wasn't great. Just over a thousand views for some of their videos in nine years versus 30,000 views in just two days for their most recent efforts. If they had been in it for the money when they first started, then I'm pretty sure they would have packed up pretty quickly. And that leads me to my next point. How patient are you? Let me share my YouTube stats with you from my very first full year in 2016 after publishing 35 videos. Four and a half thousand views, just 110 minutes watched and 47 subscribers. Not the most encouraging numbers, are they? Fast forward another 12 months, 2017, and again, very low numbers. 64,000 views, 4,000 hours watched, and just over 1,000 subscribers. After 24 months, I was definitely running out of patience, but I noticed something was happening towards the end of that year, which was enough to keep me going, so I carried on. Thank God I did, because this is what happened the following year. 1.1 million views, just over 30,000 subscribers, and almost five and a half thousand dollars in revenue. Patience finally paid off. Obviously, these numbers and timelines are unique to my channel, and I am sure it could happen to you a lot faster. I just wanted to show you them so you understand your channel is unlikely to take off like a rocket unless you're extremely lucky. But beyond patience, there is another very important factor you need to take into consideration. Creating videos is hard work. If you are serious about growing an audience and getting views that generate some income, you will need to put a lot of effort into creating your videos. This generally involves some research to figure out what topics are popular and what keywords you need to target. Probably write a script so you know what you're gonna talk about in front of the camera. Obviously, shoot the video, making sure you have some decent sound and lighting if possible. Edit your video to cut out any unwanted footage. Create video thumbnails that will pop out amongst the many YouTube suggested videos so you get more clicks and more views. The process is very time consuming and can take a few days to just make one video. It does in my case. And if you want to publish videos several times a week, like most big YouTubers do, you're going to have to repeat this process time and time again. This can be soul destroying as you will likely feel under a huge amount of pressure to constantly produce content. It can lead to burnout, which many YouTube creators have been victim of. 
But if you stick with it, eventually you'll come up with your own process and will be able to speed up your production, improve your game and start generating views and money. It won't become easier, you'll just become more efficient. That's as long as you're able to cope with this. Yes, my friends, it doesn't matter how much work you put into your videos and how proud you are, there's always going to be someone who is not going to like what you do. If you've never experienced this before, then brace yourself. I get on average 95% likes versus dislikes, which is fantastic thanks to you. But when I received my very first few negative comments, I felt deflated. Despite all the positive comments I was receiving, the negative ones were the ones that stuck out the most and I couldn't ship them out of my head. Nobody likes to be criticized, right? It's human nature. The internet is a brutal place that takes no prisoner. And if you don't like being criticized, a platform like YouTube is not for you. You will need to build resilience to any kind of negativity as it will happen every single time you publish a new video. Let's now move on to the money side of YouTube. Show me the money! Sorry, I couldn't resist. First things first, before you can start monetizing your channel, you'll need to have 4,000 watch hours and at least 1,000 subscribers. Until then, you won't be eligible. As we saw, this can take some time when your channel is brand new, but once you've reached these milestones, you can apply to join the YouTube Partner Program. Your channel will need to be approved, which can take up to a month. Once approved, you can start making money. Since YouTube is owned by Google, you'll need to create a Google AdSense account, so payment can be made directly to your account every month. Google won't pay you until you generate a minimum revenue, which can depend on your currency. For example, in the US, the threshold is $100. This means that you need to earn at least $100 before you receive any kind of money from Google. Once your channel has been approved, you just need to allow YouTube to show ads on or around your videos when you load them on your channel. You can choose the type of ads you want to display, such as overlay ads, sponsored cards, skippable and non-skippable ads. You can also choose for ads to be played before, during or after. The choice is yours. Advertisers will then pay YouTube to show their ads on your videos. You will earn 55% of advertising revenue generated when people view your videos, while YouTube will keep the other 45%. Your earnings will be calculated based on a cost per thousand view rate, also known as CPM. In layman's terms, this means that if advertisers are willing to pay $10 for a thousand views on your videos, you will receive $5.50. What advertisers will be willing to spend so they can display their ads on your channel will vary greatly depending on your channel type or the videos you publish. According to Influencer Marketing Hub, the average advertiser pays $7.60 per thousand views. Let's round this up and say the average is actually $8. It would mean that for each thousand video views on your channel, your cut would be 55% of $8 or $4.40. Generating 100,000 views in a month would therefore make you $440, which is not a huge amount considering what it takes to get to 100,000 views. Obviously, this is just an average, so it could be a lot more or a lot less. The average CPM for my channel is actually quite high and currently stands at $30, with some videos being as high as almost $100 and others as low as nine. This is just to give you an idea of what you can expect and that making a living out of YouTube money alone is probably not as easy as it seems. And that's why most popular YouTubers rely on other sources of revenue on the back of their channels where they make way more money. Here's an example from Roberto Blake who is a popular online entrepreneur with 400,000 subscribers. His channel made just over $31,000 in advertising revenue from YouTube in 2019, but overall it generated just over $156,000 throughout the year. The additional revenue came from sponsorship deals and affiliate commissions directly from his channel. Here is another example from another entrepreneur who made just over $2,000 in YouTube revenue in May 2019, but generated an additional $125,000 the same month selling a digital course through a channel. That is some serious cash. There are other streams of revenue available. For example, people reach out to me for one-to-one -one consultancy sessions and live training classes just because they found me on YouTube. But you can also sell physical products such as t-shirts and, and now YouTube has created a paying membership feature you can monetize directly from your channel.
But before you are able to deploy multiple streams of revenue like these big guys and make thousands of dollars every month, you will need to establish yourself. I see my channel as an investment into my future, something that helps me build a brand which I can have fun with and give me the possibility of creating financial freedom. The best advice I can give you is to focus on the end game and the longevity of your channel over trying to make a quick buck. Otherwise, you won't last the distance. There is no silver bullet. You're going to need time perseverance and be willing to earn very little for a while. Now, you've watched this video, do you think you have what it takes? If the answer is yes, then create your YouTube channel now. It only takes a few minutes. If you need help, you can watch my step-by-step -step guide right here, here, yeah, here. And if you're interested in finding out a bit more about the money side of things, check out how much YouTube paid me for one of my videos that was watched a million times. Until next time, happy marketing. And that video is just right there, by the way. All right?